Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin yung ating mga triangles kung paano natin siya classify according to angle and according to its size. Pag-uusapan naman natin yung triangles or mga triangles at ito ang isa sa mga popular na geometric figure na sinosolve natin sa geometry. So, umpisahan natin kung paano tayo magsulat ng proper notations on triangles and of course yung definitions natin according sa ating uh, geometric uh, um, lessons sa uh, triangle. Dahil alam naman natin ang triangle, yan yung uh, polygon na may three sides, pero may mas malalim na kahulugan pa na pwede tayong uh, uh, pag-aralan um, about sa triangle. So, una na dyan, a triangle is formed by three non-collinear points connected by segments. So, yung mga non-collinear points niyan, ibig sabihin hindi sila magkakahanay or pantay-pantay tulad ng nakikita ninyo. So, yan yung ating three non-collinear point or points EBA na pag kinonect natin ay magiging isang triangle. Another definition that we should be aware of is that the non-collinear po points in this triangle, we call them as vertices or vertex. So yan yung ating uh, isa pang uh, taguri dyan sa mga parts ng ating triangle. At ang panghuli ay yung pagsulat ng ating triangle. So, pwede natin siyang isulat as triangle EBA or triangle AEB or triangle BEA as long as yung mga vertices natin ay nakasama doon sa ating triangle. And the last thing that you need to remember about triangle is that the segments joining the points are called the sides. So, yan yung ating uh, definition or formal definition ng triangle. At uh, gagamitin natin yan sa ating pag-aaral ng mga theorems about triangles at mga corollary na makikita natin dito sa lesson natin today. So, syempre, unahin natin yung pag-identify ng mga parts ng ating mga triangle. So, mahalaga na alam natin yung mga parts na yan dahil sa geometry, Lagi natin ginagamit yung mga words na sometimes we are not too familiar with but kung alam natin yung description ng mga yan, madali na nating masusolusyonan at masasagot tayo yung ating mga geometric problems. So meron tayong triangle PQR. So ito yung ating triangle PQR at sinasabi dun sa ating unang question is which angle is opposite yung ating segment PQ. So, dapat alam nyo ang ibig sabihin ng segment. So, kung meron tayong line segment, ito yung ating line segment, PQ. At ano daw yung opposite angle doon sa ating segment PQ. At ang opposite natin dyan, makikita ninyo, ay yung ating vertex R. So, ang ating opposite angle for number 1 is, yung sagot natin dyan is angle R. So, yan yung pag-identify ng mga parts natin sa triangle at yung susunod naman nating part na kailangan nating identify is which side is opposite angle Q. Ano ba ang angle Q? Si angle Q is andito. So, to answer problem number 2, since side yung ating hinahanap, ito yung opposite side niya which is side PR. And in geometry, notation is important at ganito natin isulat yung ating side PR. At dun sa ating last question, which side is included between angle angle P and R. So, ano ba yung ating angle P and R? Ito si P at ito si R. At ang ating uh, side included dyan ay syempre is still side PR. At yan yung ating uh, pamamaraan kung paano mag-identify ng mga parts ng mga triangle according doon sa definition natin. So, napakadali at Tandaan natin na notation is important when we are working with problems in geometry. And speaking of notation, pag-aralan naman natin yung mga iba't ibang uri ng triangles according to its angle and according to its side. So unahin natin ang tinatawag nating acute triangle at ang formal definition ng acute triangle ay kung ang tatlong corners natin ng triangle are all acute or less than 90 degrees, then ito ay matatawag nating acute triangle triangle. At ang susunod naman natin, kung meron tayong acute triangle, meron naman tayong obtuse triangle. At ang obtuse triangle ay meron lang or kailangan lang natin ng isang obtuse angle or over 90 degree angle at makakaform na tayo ng isang obtuse 
triangle. At ang susunod natin ay ang ating equiangular wherein yung ating triangle, yung kanilang mga corners or angles ay pare-parehas ng measurements. At hindi natin masasabi na pare-parehas ang measurements ng ating tatlong corners kung hindi natin siya lalagyan ng notations or symbol at ito yung ating mark sa ating uh, congruent angles or magkakaparehas na sukat. So, kapag meron na tayong uh, mga little um, notations na yan or symbols, masasabi na natin equiangular yung triangle na yan. Dahil kung wala yan, hindi pa natin mako-confirm na ito ay equiangular. So, make sure that you are aware that in geometry, symbols are important and we need to mark those congruent angles and sides para mas ma-confirm natin na magkakaparehas ang sukat kahit man lang dyan sa diagram na nakikita natin. At syempre, meron tayong tinatawag na right triangle na kung saan meron tayong isang right angle. And again, itong ating uh, triangle na yan ay hindi pa natin considered as a right triangle unless meron tayong mark. So ito yung ating marking for right triangle. So every time you are Showing a diagram of a triangle and you want to denote that the angles are congruent or right angle, kailangan lagyan nyo siya ng marking. At ito yung ating summary ng ating mga triangles according to its angles. Meron tayong acute, obtuse, equiangular, and right triangle. Paano naman natin ika-classify yung ating triangle according to its sides? Alam na natin itong mga triangles na ito dahil familiar na familiar kayo dito sa tinatawag nating scaling, isosceles, equilateral, and yun lang tatlo. So, scaling, isosceles, and equilateral. So, yung ating scaling, ibig sabihin niyan, walang magkaparehas na sides or sukat yung ating triangle. Isosceles, we have at least two sides that are equal. At yung equilateral, parang equiangular. But this time, we talk about the lengths of our triangle na magkakaparehas ng sukat. Now, paano natin yung gagamitin to classify yung ating mga triangle according to its angles and sides? So, let's take a look at this triangle. And we are seeing that we have a 90 degree angle dito sa ating triangle. So, kung ika-classify natin yung triangle according to its angles, alam natin na ito ay right. At yung kanilang sides naman, sabi dito, explicitly written, no sides are equal. At alam natin na kapag ang triangle ay walang equal sides or magkakaiba ng sukat, ito ay tinatawag nating scalene. So, we have right scalene triangle. So, ang isusulat natin ngayon ay right scaling triangle as a classification ng ating triangle na nakikita dito. So kung meron tayong ganitong uri ng triangle, mapapansin ninyo na yung kanyang mga angles are 69, 69, and 42 degrees. So masasabi natin na according to its angle, ito ay tinatawag nating acute dahil lahat ng angles natin sa triangle are all acute angles at wala tayong isang obtuse or wala tayong isang right. So acute Triangle yan, according to its sides, but according, I mean, according to its angles, and according to its sides, mapapansin nyo yung dalawang markings dito sa ating triangle, na ibig sabihin yan, congruent yung sides na yan. So, kung meron tayong two congruent sides sa ating triangle, tinatawag natin yung isosceles. So, ang ating complete name ng ating triangle would be acute isosceles triangle. So, yan ang pag-classify ng ating triangle. Sobrang dali lang, kaya... Umpisa na natin ang uh, paggamit or pag-identify uh, ng mga theorems na pwede natin gamitin sa ating mga triangle. At ang isa sa mga popular na theorem na yan ay ang triangle angle sum theorem. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng triangle angle sum theorem? Ibig sabihin yan, yung mga interior angles natin, kapag inad natin yan, it will equal 280 degrees. So, pag inad natin sa angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, it's equal to 180 degrees na isa sa mga mahalagang theorem na ginagamit natin kung magme-measure or maghahanap tayo ng mga missing angles ng ating mga triangle. So, paano ba natin i-articulate at mas mauudawaan yung ating uh, theorem na yan? Alam natin sa geometry na ang straight line ay equal sa 180 degrees. At kung meron tayong triangle dito, so ito yung ating triangle, at kung kukunin natin at i-add natin yung angle na to, angle na to, at angle na to, 
ang pangit ng aking angle. Pero pag kinuha natin yan at inan natin yan, it will equal 180 degrees, which means kapag ka pinunit natin to at pinunit natin to at pinunit natin ito, wala na tayong triangle pero makakabuo tayo ng isang straight line out of this angles at yan yung isa sa mga hindi naman natin masasabing proof pero makikita natin na nakabuo tayo ng straight line dito sa ating mga corners ng ating triangle so ito yung sinasabi o ito yung tinatawag nating triangle angle sum theorem na pinakita natin gamit ang ating triangle so yan ang kagandahan ng geometry because we it's teaching us to think critically at hindi lang mag-memorize ng mga formula at ng mga theorem. At isa sa mga uh, theorem or isa sa mga uh, corollaries na pwede natin gamitin sa ating uh, angle sa mga uh, theorem ng ating triangle ay yung exterior angle of a triangle. At ano bang isinasabi sa exterior angle of a triangle? Ibig sabihin dito, kapag idad daw natin si angle 2 at si angle 3, it will equal doon sa ating extended side ng ating triangle, which is angle 1. So, yan yung sinasabing, the measure of each exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the measure of its two non-adjacent interior angles. So, yan yung tinatawag natin exterior angle of a triangle na isang corollary dahil dito, Kinuha natin yung idea na yan o yung uh, fact na yan mula doon sa ating main theorem na nakita natin kanina which is yung triangle angle sum theorem or yung mga interior angles ng ating triangle ay equal to 180 degree. So a corollary by definition is a special name given to a theorem that is easy to prove as a direct result of another previously proved Theorem. So, yan. At ang susunod nating corollary mula doon sa ating main theorem ay yung acute angles of a triangle. At sinasabi lang dito sa uh, corollary na to is the two acute angles of a right triangles are complementary, which means they will equal to 90 degrees. Kaya, pag in natin si angle 1 at si angle 2, it will equal to a 90 degree angle which makes sense dahil alam natin ang sum ng interior angles ng triangle ay 180. So kung ito ay 90 degrees at yung sum nitong dalawa ay also 90 degrees, 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. So yan yung pangalawang corollary na nakuha natin mula doon sa ating uh, uh, triangle angle sum theorem. Now, gamitin naman natin ito para makapagsagot tayo ng mga problems tulad dito. Using the triangle angle sum theorem, let's find the measure of each angle in the given triangle. So, meron tayong uh, corner dito which measures 5x degrees. Ito naman ay 6x degrees. At ito naman ay 15x plus 24 degrees. So alam natin, if we're going to set up our equation ng ating triangle, pagkakinuhan natin yung measurement ng angle 1 at inad natin yung measurement, measurement ng angle 2 at yung measurement ng angle 3 equal yan sa 180 degrees. At ano ba si 1, 2, and 3? Pwede natin sabihin na ito, C1, so we have 5x degrees. At C2 naman ay si 6x degrees. At C3 naman ay si 15x plus 24 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees. So since meron na tayong algebraic equation, pwede na natin siyang simplify by combining like terms. And by doing so, we'll be able to find the value of x na makakapagtulong sa atin para mahanap yung value ng ating mga angles. So pag inad natin yung tatlong yan, meron tayong 26 x plus 24 degrees equals 180 degrees. So we subtract 24 on both sides. And we'll have 26x equal to 156. And we'll divide both sides by 26. And by doing so, x is equal to 6. So since alam na natin yung value ng ating x, pwede na natin substitute yung mga yan dito sa 
5x degrees, 6x degrees, and 15x plus 24 degrees para makuha yung actual measurement ng ating triangle. So, meron tayong 30-degree angle dito sa corner na to. Meron din tayong 36-degree angle doon sa kabilang corner. At yung huling corner natin na 15x plus 24 is equal to 114 degrees. Kaya pag inad natin si 30, 36, and 114, we know that it will equal to 180 degrees. And we are able to uh, solve for the missing corners or missing angles of our triangle using the triangle angle sum theorem. And next, paano naman natin hahanapin yung mga values ng x at mga angle measures nitong triangle natin dito? Gagamitin naman natin yung ating exterior angle of a triangle na corollary natin kanina at hahanapin natin yung mga angles na yan. At according to this corollary, alam natin na ang measurement nitong outside corner na ito ng ating triangle ay equal sa sum nitong dalawang angles na given sa atin. So, to um, show our equation, kailangan lang natin is gumawa ng algebraic equation na makakatulong sa atin para masagot yung ating problem. So, alam natin na kapag meron daw tayong triangle, at pag in-extend natin itong triangle na to, itong C1 at C2, ito ang measurement ng ating angle dito sa ating extended side ng ating triangle. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung meron tayong 3x minus 53 degrees, equal siya sa x degree plus 67 degrees. So, if you want to uh, simplify this, we can just say it's 3x degrees minus 53 degrees equals x degrees plus 67 degrees. At now, kailangan na lang natin gumamit ng algebra to be able to find the value of x. So, alam natin na kapag ka pinag-combine natin yung ating mga x's and pinag-combine natin yung ating mga numerical values, we'll have x is equal or 2x minus 3 is equal to 6, 6 to 7 and then 2x, is, 2x minus 3 is equal to 6 to 7 and then so add 3 on both sides and we'll have 2x is equal to 120 and then divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to 60. So, yan yung ating value ng x ngayon dahil sa algebra and sa geometry. At now, pwede na natin kunin yung mga angle measurement na yan dahil substitute lang natin si x. At alam natin na si x ay sa 60 degrees. And then, by doing that to our 3x minus 53 degrees, we'll be able to find that that value is 127 degrees. At pag inad nyo si 60 and si 67, it will also equal to 127 degrees. At yan yung ating uh, lesson on uh, triangles, how to measure it or how to classify its um, types of triangles according to its angle and its sides. At syempre, yung ating theorem at mga corollary. Kaya, ang inyong number bender challenge for the day is to find the measurement of the angles in this triangle. So, meron tayong nakikita dyang mga descriptions or algebraic expressions on our corners. At makukuha nyo yung mga values ng mga angles na yan by using our theorem and algebra. At yan ang ating lesson sa ating uh, geometry uh, um, lesson on uh, triangles. So we learned how to classify our triangles. We also learned how to uh, um, create yung ating uh, mga corollaries and mga theorems at gamitin ito para makapag sagot tayo ng mga problems involving geometry. So, I hope na mag-practice kayo na maigi para mas marami pa kayong matutunan at mas makasanayan ninyong magsagot ng mga problems on geometry. Dr. E and see you again next time. Hi!